A very good morning to all of you. I hope you are fit and fine. In the last class, I told you about a repeat command. I hope you watched the video carefully. In today's class, I am going to tell you about procedures in logo. So let us start today's class. Open page number 55. Procedure in logo. It takes a lot of logo commands to draw figure such as hut. It is very tedious to type these commands all over again whenever you want to draw the same figure in logo. To avoid retyping of commands, logo provides the feature of procedure. It means when you when you want to type when you want to draw a complex figure just like a hut, flag, then you have to type a lots of command and uh, whenever you and whenever you want to type whenever you want to draw the same figure again then you also type the same commands again and again so this is a very time taking and boring work to avoid retyping of commands logo provide a feature called procedures understood now page number 56 the commands to perform any operation in logo can be grouped and given a name such set of logo commands is called the procedures means procedure is a set of logo commands given one after the other to perform a particular task procedure is a set of logo commands given one after the other to perform particular task a logo a procedure is a set of command saved by a specific name when you want to repeat the operation you can just use the procedure name and after and when you want to reuse that command then you need to write that command again and again you just write the procedure name and execute the commands when logo encounters a procedure name it execute all the commands written in the procedures when you execute procedure all the commands inside the procedure are automatically executed one by one thus with the help of procedures you can perform the same operation multiple times easily and quickly in short procedures is used to record is used to save the group of command with a specific name with the help of the procedure we can we can so we can say that a procedure is used to save group of commands with a specific name and we can use procedure to perform uh, any particular task multiple times in a very easy and quick way I repeat once again procedure is a used to save group of commands save set of commands to perform a task and with the help of the procedure we can perform any particular task any particular operation multiple times in a very easy way now a structure of procedure every procedure has a name the general form of the procedure is and follows to procedure name logo commands end right we can say that a procedure has three parts the first line of the procedure contains the word to followed by the name of the procedure the first in the first line you you can give name of the procedure and the first line is always start with the word to then the procedure can have multiple logo commands inside it these commands are written on different lines in the second part of the uh, procedure 
all the commands for draw a desired figures are written inside the procedures this command the proceed uh, the procedure ends with the word end in the last line you type end to complete the procedures right now i hope you understand a procedure has three i repeat once again a procedure has three main parts in the first line you type to followed by the procedure name in the second line you type all the commands which you want to save into the procedure and the last line you type end right now on page number 57 creating a procedure how we create a procedure what is the step step 1 step 1 click in the input box and type edit followed by the name type edit e d i t edit followed by the name of the procedure the name of the procedure should be preceded by a double quote understood to create a procedure the first step is type edit in the commander input box then press double quote and then write your procedure name s q u a r e and after typing the procedure name procedure name press enter when you press the enter button editor window will be open just like that right then step 2 position the cursor at the end of the first line and press enter position the cursor at the end of the first line and press enter and type the command to be included as a part of the procedure now he, here you can type the command which you want to save in the procedure repeat for square bracket fd 150 rt 90 square bracket close now step 3 click file and click on save and exist option click file option and click on save and exist option i repeat once again how we create how we create a procedure the first step is the first step is type e d i t edit in the command input box then press double quote from the keyboard and type procedure name after typing the procedure name press enter button from enter key from the keyboard editor window will be open click at the end of the first line and press enter now type the command which you want to save in the procedure repeat for fd 150 rt 90 Square root close. Now, after typing the command, click on File menu, then click on Click Save and Exist option. When you click on Save and Exist method, this uh, uh, when you click Save and Exist option, Exit option. Uh, sorry, when you click Save and Exit op uh, Exist option, your procedure will be saved in the main memory. right then you click on save and exist option your procedure sa temporarily save in the main memory to save your procedure permanently then another option is available right now click on save and exist option your procedure will be saved i repeat once again to create procedure type e d i t edit double quote procedure name press enter click at the end of the first line and press enter write command and after writing the command click on file and click on file and save and exist option right this is in this way you can save your procedure 
can say this. One page number. 58. Calling or running a procedure. After writing a procedure, you can call or run it by typing the procedure name in the input box and pressing enter. When you call a procedure, all the logo commands written inside it are, execu are executed or carried out. After creating the procedure, now you want to run that procedure. So to run the procedure, you just simply type the procedure name in the command input box. My pro <coughs> square and press enter. You can see square are drawn. I repeat once again. To type, sorry, to run the procedure, simply type your procedure name in the command input box. आपको procedure run करना है, तो आप procedure का नाम command input box में type करें और enter press कर दें. S Q R E press enter right triangle P R I N G L E triangle press enter right on page number 58 example number one calling procedure square to dot two square square L E T 90 square H T Right? You can see figure number 5.1 draw on the screen. Now example number 2. Calling procedure square to draw a pattern. Calling procedure square to draw a pattern. You can you can use the procedure name in repeat command also. How? Let's see uh, example number 2. Repeat 6 procedure name square rt60 click press enter sorry something is wrong repeat is spelling is wrong r e p e a t repeat 6 square rt60 square and press enter ht you can see figure number 5.11 is draw. In this way, you can use your procedure in the repeat command. Understood? Now, on page number 59, you can also include. Now, on page number 59, you can also include print statement inside a procedure. The following procedure displays the table of 5 whenever it is called means you can include print command in the procedure also how we use print command in the procedure let's see right create a procedure table 5 so how we create a procedure edit then double quote procedure name table 5 press enter click at the end of the first line press enter and type this command print product 5 1 print product 5 2 print product 5 3 print product 5 4 print product 5 5 print product 5 6 print product 5 7 print product 58 print product 59 print product 510 and after typing the commands what we do click on file option then we can save and exit option right how we how we run the procedure write procedure name table 5 and press enter you can see 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 6, 60, sorry 50. Now saving a procedure, how we save a procedure? To save a procedure, the procedure that you create are stored in the main memory of the computer and are available as long as you are working in logo. 
I have already told you. When you save your procedure with the save and exist option, then your procedure will save in the main memory, and that and the procedure are available as long as you are working in logo. To save, when you close the logo window, the procedure are removed from memory and not and are not available for use. Understood? When you create a create procedure and save it from the save and exist option, then your procedure will save in the main memory and available as long as you are working in a logo. When you click when you close your logo, then your procedure will also lost. To to overcome this problem, you can save your procedure in secondary memory. How we save our procedure permanently? There are two options. The first option is using the save command, and second option is using the file menu. Let's see how we use to using the save command on page number sixty-one. Using the save command, the general form of the save command is follows: type save command followed by the file name in the input box and press enter. For example, to save procedure in the file myproc.lgo, type save myproc in the input box and then press the enter key. It means to save your lo uh, logo, sorry, to save your procedure, type save command in the input box, then double quote, write file names, class four, and press enter. Right to save your procedure, the step is type save. Right, command in the income input box, space, double quote, and try and press enter. This is the first method. Second method is using the file menu. The step to save file are. Click on file. Click on save option. Here I will allow that to be open. Select your destination folder. Select the location where you want to save. You want to save in this folder. Then type file name and click save button. Right. I hope you understand. I repeat once again. To save your procedure, to save your procedure permanently, there are two options: using the save command and using file menu. Using uh, how we save procedure using save command. Type save s a v e save in the command input box. Then write procedure name in double quote. After that, press enter. To save procedure by file menu, click on file, then click on save option. Save as dialog box will be open. Search, uh, select your location where you want to save the logo, then type your logo name and click on save option. Now page number sixty-two. Page number sixty-four. How we use procedure? How we use using a save procedure? Sorry, page number sixty-two. Using a save procedure. How we use how we use save procedure? You can use the store procedure by using the load load command or the file open option. You can use your save procedure by two methods. First method is first method is load command and second method is file option. Let's see one by one. On page number sixty-three, using the load command, the general form of the load command is as follows. If you want, to, now I'm going to close this first. Now open micro uh, logo once again. Now, now I am going to tell you about how we use save logo by load command. The step is type l o a d load space. And 
डबल कोट टाइप योर प्रोसीजर नेम टी आर आई ए एन जी एल ई ट्राइंगल देन प्रेसिंटेड आफ्टर दैट टाइप योर प्रोसीजर नेम विदाउट एनी कमांड एंड विदाउट एनी डबल कोट राइट आई रिपीट वंस अगेन टू यूज प्रोसीजर बाई लोड कमांड टाइप एल ओ ए डी लोड स्पेस डबल कोट एंड योर प्रोसीजर नेम एंड प्लस इंटर अब कुड नॉट फाइल फाइन दिर एल ओ ए डी लोड टेबल फाइव प्लस इंटर आफ्टर दैट राइट प्रोसीजर सिंपल प्रोसीजर नेम एंड प्लस इंटर You can see here. Now, using file menu, click on file menu. Click on load option. Search your procedure and open. Then, type procedure name. Press enter. I repeat once again. Click on file option. Click on load option. Search your file. Search your procedure. Click open option. After that, type your procedure name and press enter. Right? I hope you understand. In this way, this chapter is completed.